Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Charlotte and I do fashion and style videos. I'm going to be trying and doing some fitness health as well. My last video was what I eat in a day, which a couple of you had asked about, so I will leave that video linked down in the description bar, along with my Instagram, my blog, and also a subscription link if you would like to subscribe to my channel. But today I'm going to be talking to you about styling the belt bag. And I have a hair in my eye. <laughs> and the bag in question, it's here, I should have put it in front of me, is a beautiful bag by a brand called Sen Rev, and it is in this really nice dust bag. It's a luxury bag brand. Um, this is their Aria belt bag. Don't know if it's named after her from Game of Thrones, if any of you are Game of Thrones fans, but it is this beautiful baby hair. I went for it in black. They're made from 100% genuine Italian leather. I have a builder that's literally right outside on scaffolding watching me. How embarrassing, he's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, let's proceed. The brand name Senreb is derived from the French words sense and dream. As a brand, their aesthetic is beautiful, feminine and versatile for everyday life, which this bag definitely is. And I'm gonna be showing you how versatile it is in different ways that you can style it. Obviously it doesn't have to be this belt bag, it can be any belt bag, but as I've got this beautiful one I wanted to share it with you, this is the one that I'm featuring in the video today. Uh, a few of you might have actually seen as well, I do have a Love Machino uh, belt bum bag as well, so I'll leave that linked in the description box below. That's a little bit of a more affordable version. I'll also link to affordable ones on High Street. I would say mainly just go to ASOS, put in belt bags or bum bags and mango. They're your best bets and you'll find some really nice ones. But this Sen Red bag is sold on their own website. I will leave details links below details down below, uh, it's very kindly gifted to myself, uh, they asked if I would like to pick out a bag, uh, but they also stock their bags on Modesons and Farfetch as well, so I'll leave all links down below and then you can go and check out all the different styles and everything that they do. So I'll just give you a little look at the bag, if you would like a proper full review on this do let me know and I shall do a separate video, but we have this beautiful crafted 100% genuine Italian leather and we have this clasp at the front so there's a hidden clasp there so to open it you pull that bit down and then open it up and then inside I think it's micro suede inside it's so soft and gorgeous we have a zip compartment at the back there's also space for cards there and then there's also a little card bit here at the front there as well that you can fit things in and then we have the brand detailing Send rev on back there and as you can see the belt for this actually is detachable so it would also be great as like an evening bag you can make it a little bit more formal by taking the belt off it and use it as a clutch bag for a wedding um night out and then we have lots of various holes on the belt you probably can't see but there's holes all across this bit here and then we also have holes here so obviously you can work across the body on the waist but I will be showing you ways of styling the bag so this is the bag in today's video I'll leave all details down in the description box but let's get on to the styling this will also be over on my Instagram channel on my IGTV where you'll just purely see the outfits styled in a little montage so if you would like to follow me over on Instagram you guys can do it's at Charlotte Buttrick I'll leave it on the screen. But going into these looks, I'm gonna be showing you four different ways of wearing the belt bag, but rather than showing you four ways to wear a belt bag on your body with the same outfit, I thought I would mix things up. So I have four separate outfits here for you today. So starting with outfit number one, I am loving the cargo trend. So I have a pair of Zara cargo pants. They were featured in a Zara haul mm, a month or so ago now. I will leave that link down below. And paired with that, I have gone for a white shirt. So we have the cargo pants. We have a silk shirt, which is from Marks and Spencers, which is such good quality. Their range at the moment, especially the autograph range, is just stunning and it looks really high end, it's really good quality and it'll last a long time in your wardrobe so I absolutely adore that shirt. And then to kind of complement all my looks today I've gone for some really chunky gold hoops, I've got some and other stories gold hoops on, some O-rate small hoops, a little ear cuff and then I have a combination of necklaces from my favourite brands for jewellery is Miru and also Tilly Surveyas but I will leave all details down in the description box for all my accessories as well in today's video. So that is look number one and the way that I'm going to show you how to wear your belt bag with this look is simply across the body. I think that this is such a easy way to go out shopping, do things, have both hands free but still have like your phone and your money in your favourite lipstick and all your personal belongings just across the front of your body. I think it looks really cool. Um, so this is one of my actual favourite ways to wear the belt bag so I thought I would share that with you first. 
The second way that you can wear your belt bag is probably an obvious one. You can wear it as a belt. So put it through the buckles of your trousers, of your jeans, of your shorts, whatever you're wearing. So for this look, I have a new brand to show you guys. Now a few of you said you would like to see some more sustainable fashion brands. So I have a London-based women's sustainable, eco-friendly fashion brand and they are called Barshkin and they very kindly said I could pick some items out from the new collections to style up and share with you guys. So I'm really excited about these pieces, the quality of these feels so nice. So obviously you're paying a little bit more, it's more of a premium brand, but with that you're getting your chic, sustainable and timeless take on the trends. I know that these will be in my wardrobe for a long time and when you see them on me you will know what I mean because they're absolutely divine. I will pull one out actually and show you. So the item I was most excited about and something that I wanted in my wardrobe for spring summer is a white blazer and how gorgeous is this blazer. So it's not double breasted which is something that I normally go for but it's single breasted it's really flattering it's quite a formal blazer but you can make it more casual by pairing it with jeans as you will hopefully see within the look that I'm about to share with you I actually got my inspiration from this look from a beautiful blogger her Instagram is Mon Agar or Mon Gar sorry I've got that wrong but I will leave it linked down below show you her on screen she's absolutely amazing I've met her before briefly as well and she's super lovely and I got this inspiration for her for styling long shorts which is these ones I've got here I've got a long pair of shorts from Bashkin in a black denim which feels super soft which I've paired with this t-shirt which I have on as well which is a gorgeous v-neck basic t-shirt and I really want to build up the basics in my wardrobe because I think you can wear them with everything and they are good investments to spend a little bit more on and I've styled that look with a pair of strappy sandals and this was the inspiration from Montgar's Instagram absolutely love her so we have the white strappy sandals from Mango that you might have seen in my Mango haul, I will leave that linked as well. So I will now, after much anticipation of me wobbling on about it, wobbling? Me rambling on about it, show you what I'm talking about. So here is the outfit all put together. And for this way, as you can see, the belt bag is just worn in the buckle holes of the shorts. I've buckled it through there. I've got the t-shirt and then my blazer opened over it. In summer or spring, it's a little bit warmer. You could just put the blazer over your shoulders as well rather than wearing it. But hopefully you can see how beautifully structured these pieces are. I'm very excited about sharing this new brand with you. And I'm sure you'll see these items styled up a few different ways in a few upcoming videos. The third way sharing with you is to wear your um, belt bag over a blazer. So it doesn't have to be a blazer, it could be a denim jacket, it could be any type of light outerwear, so summer jackets, <laughs> whatever you, whatever is your jacket's choice for summer. But again, wearing it over the waist, a little bit higher than where you would wear it when you're putting it through the belt of your trousers, because I'd say this would sit more above your navel. But tying it over your blazer, I absolutely love this look. I've seen lots of inspiration for this on Pinterest. I wanted to do it myself. I even wore it in my Instagram when I went to the traffic centre the other week. I wore my, this belt bag, my area belt bag, over a blazer, and I absolutely loved it. That's the picture there. So this look as the base, I have a beautiful black dress from Bauschkin, as you will see on the screen. Now, this dress is really soft, stretchy, super comfortable, it would be perfect for workwear, it's perfect for day wear. As you can see here, I paired it down with my Balenciaga Triple S trainers, which I absolutely adore. I've definitely got my money's worth wear out of them. I will leave though my styling video for them linked, and I also have an affordable alternatives video, so if you want to get the look, but obviously you don't want to be crazy and spend £615 on a pair like I did. There's lots of choices from the high street and more affordable versions. Speaking of that, a pair that should have been in that video but fortunately did not arrive on time is this gifted pair. One sec. And this is a pair of white chunky trainers from Dykeman. If you've not heard of them before, I'll leave them linked below. It's a very affordable shoe brand. I'm 99% mm, sure that the majority, if not all, of their shoes are like vegan leather as well. So if you don't want leather shoes as well, it's a place to go and look. And this is a really affordable alternative pair to the Chunky Balenciaga Triple S All White Trainers. So I thought I would just quickly share those with you guys as well. But they will leave, I'll leave them linked in the description box with my Balenciaga Triple S styling and dupes videos. 
as I've probably mentioned about five times already. But this look, I have put the blazer over the dress. So again, yeah, you could wear this to the office. Just swap the trainers out for a pair of heels. Um, I might actually wear this to a wedding that we're going to go to in August. Um, I just, I love a really chic, timeless, fitted, formal dress that you can kind of dress up and dress down so that is the third way of wearing it as you can see the belt bag is then put over the blazer so ideally i would say probably fasten up your blazer or if it's a little bit looser cross your blazer over and then tie the bag around your waist that's going to cinch in your waist as well it just completely restyles the way that a blazer looks and i'm literally obsessed with doing this right now and then for fourth and final way of wearing a belt bag i wanted to share with you a new coat so this was very kindly gifted to me it's a brand that i wasn't actually aware of so it might be new for you guys too i will leave it linked down below and it is a beautiful trench coat by a brand called nobis now this is obviously perfect for the weather that we're having in the uk at the moment i hear there might be another heat wave but bloody happy but for all the rain that we've been having this is perfect because it's a waterproof trench and I absolutely adore trench coats. Again, it has some beautiful branding here on the side, um, but I will leave again information link down in the description box below. What I really loved about this though is that it has a clasp for a pocket. How cool is that? So magnetized pockets in this as well. So the last look is with my Novus trench and I have paired that with some new loafers as well because I love trench coat jeans plain tee and loafers. So I have a beautiful pair of loafers. These are from Jones the Bootmaker. They are a little bit reminiscent of the Gucci loafers with the horse bit detailing on the front and they are in a beautiful soft navy leather. I love the sole at the bottom. They're a little bit like a driving shoe with a um, rubber sole with all the bumps on. But what I love about these is the back is actually suede but you can push the back in. So if you want to wear them as slingbacks, you can wear them as slingbacks like this. Now these are actually men's shoes, but my pair of my Gucci loafers are men's because I don't know, men's, men's wear sometimes has different styles and not all women wear men's wear. So you can always maybe have a style that's a little bit different to what other people have, but I'm obsessed with the fact that these are navy as well. So they go perfectly with my Topshop straight leg jeans, which are my favorite jeans of all time. I just need to get a smaller size pair. But the final way, let's get round to it, of wearing the belt bag with this look is to wear your bag back to front. So again, going off before, on your waist or across your body, it's exactly the same, apart from instead of being on the front, your bag is on the back. And I think this looks really cool over a trench coat because I've seen quite a lot of inspiration again on Pinterest. Literally my favorite place to get out for inspiration at the moment. So that has been four ways to style the Aria belt bag from Senrev. Obviously, like I said before, it can be any belt bag. I will leave links to affordable options down below and also to the beautiful collection of Senrev bags if you want to know any more. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked down below as well. And if you want to see the outfits again, just head over to my Instagram and go on my IGTV little widget. Maybe I'll put it on the screen and show you guys what I mean. And then there's quite a few styling videos there that you can see for myself. But let me know in the comments below which of your looks was the favorite which outfit or which way to style a belt bag. What do you think of it? Do you hate it? Do you think wearing a belt bag over a blazer? You look like it. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody has their own preference, don't they? But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I shall see you guys for a video very soon.